What's happening guys? We're back. We're gonna do the upper radiator hose today. All right, another week of welding together aluminum piping. Um, we're gonna do the upper radiator pipe today. Uh, spoiler, I already did the lower radiator pipe last week. So we got a couple more bends. Um, the upper pipe is gonna be a little bit trickier than all the other ones, and I'll show you why. So here's the issue we're gonna run into. We gotta come from this coolant neck here over to this radiator here. Um, it looks like it'd be a nice simple kind of 90 degree bend out of our coolant neck up and over 90 degree into our, uh, our radiator. Unfortunately, the bend radius on these tubes is gonna push it too far forward when we do the 90 out of here and too far back when we do the 90 out of here so they wouldn't meet up. So we're gonna have to do instead is we're gonna have to cut uh, over 90s. So this is gonna come out and do like a 100 degree bend and actually travel backwards across the car and then do another 100 degree bend kind of deal and into our radiator. It shouldn't be a big deal. We have enough bend material to do it. It just might look a little goofy, but that's kind of the nature of the game. So we'll grab our two bends here, measure them up, cut them, and hopefully make a radiator tube. All right, we're, we're super close, but this outlet, I guess, is a little bit to the passenger side, probably about a 16th of an inch. So I'm just gonna break those tack welds, shorten this up on the belt sander by like a 16th of an inch, and then that should bring this outlet in line with our radiator, and they're ready to go.
It's once again far too hot to handle. So I'm gonna let that cool off overnight. Catch up with you guys tomorrow. And we're back. Um, got another day to work in the shop. It is very cold out. Um, falls here, I guess. So I wanna get this guy finished up. Uh, the next step is we need to add just a short little straight section onto this end. Um, this end here has probably an inch, inch and a half of straight section. So we can roll a bead and have a, have a place to put our hose clamp. But this piece here, because it's in the bend, we don't have that. So I'm just gonna measure up a little straight section, weld her up, and, uh, and then we can start rolling our beads. So let's get after it. Two ball welded up. Definitely not my, my best welds, but they'll do. Uh, so now I gotta roll the beads on the ends of these. And I learned a little something on the, uh, the, the lower. So see how huge that bulge is where the bead is? Um, this tubing's actually a little bit the wrong size. A little bit, I guess it's 100% the wrong size. This is inch and a half tubing and the filler or the coolant neck or whatever is inch and a quarter. So we're having to stretch those silicone couplings a little bit over what they want to be. So rather than make these big monster beads like we did on the, on the lower pipe and we made sure that we had big beads on the, uh, the intake pipes and whatnot, I'm just gonna do just a little bead. We're gonna try to make it just subtle um, cause the silicone already has to stretch pretty far and these aren't under a lot of pressure like our, our, our charge tubes are. So we shouldn't need a huge bead. So we're just gonna try to put a little one on. We're also gonna try to put it as close to the end as possible. Um, I noticed when I did the ones on the, uh, on the intake pipe here, they're, they're spaced back from the, the end of the pipe. So there, there's a little bit of wasted length there. And then I don't have a lot of room to stick a hose clamp on the other side of that. So we're gonna put them really close to the end and we're gonna try to make them a little more subtle. So let's give it a whirl.
right. Um, that was a little more difficult than I thought it would be. Uh, the bead roller, um, the, the bolt that holds the one die was bent. So we had to give her the old swing bender to get her back into somewhat straight. If I built another bead roller, I would do it vastly different than that one. But uh, it worked. I think we're pretty much done all the beads we need to do. We need to do one more on our, our intake pipe, but that's about it. So it's good enough. Uh, but we got her on. Uh, the, the, uh, the couplings are really, really tight because they're the wrong size, but it works. Um, I used the lathe to actually cut the coupler to be, uh, so the ends are fairly straight. So that worked out well. And that's all we got today. So basically the plumbing's all done on the front. It's time, maybe next week we'll start running fuel lines. It's getting, getting closer to firing up. So that's it for this week, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. Go check us out on Instagram, Left Foot First Media. And we'll see you next week. I'm out of here.